and we, and we were just i guess stoned a lot and we were just mm. jam and i like we were just you know we, it didn't cost us hamari barsati ka cost us 7000 rupees a month uh-huh. wahan pe rehte the lucky banate the we just played made music sat in the sun did something it was fun to like hang around uh, in hoskas village in the building these guys lived in uh, which was like such a badly made building uh, now when you think about it literally it's like it was us and then excuse me uh uh-huh, no stress it was like us and then one floor below us would be like this is an apartment complex 87 uh-huh. it would be us barsat upar two lo- uh, do barsati i think karan aur kartik aur the theek hai pura aur ek huge uh, terrace vibe tha we would fucking do everything there right below us would be another bunch of apartments and they would be inhabited by people who would come from like pani bath for the weekend uh, to just do drugs and hang out in what uh, in hoskas village yeah stuff like that like literally the guy below us uh, who lived below us i can't i won't tell you his name obviously uh, he stayed out of fight club he used to basically manufacture soap and uh, also simultaneously manufacture md uh and sell it to everybody in the building is he cool? is he famous now i'm sure he's not famous now uh-huh. um but you know this was the scene so basically <laughs> this and so and ground floor pe wo out of the box yaad hai restaurant uh-huh. tha unka uh-huh. unka accounting office hai <laughs> hey bhagwan so it would be like four floors accounting office first floor was the staff of out of the box second floor would be the, the staff was housed there ha huh? the staff was housed staff there staff was housed there uh, so they would show up late and then right above that would be us right at the fourth or fifth floor and it was great because basically because the staff came late they didn't give a shit and they were exhausted so wo aa jate the so jate the to hum jam kar jitni der jitni jitna jitna noise banana hai raat ko kar sakte amp up to an 11 fucking everything is just like drums baja raha hai koi pagal hi tarah you can stand in the staircase and you can hear the drums from the ground floor but you know like i mean the pani pat guy who pani pat guy that like then blazed didn't out of the mind so they really? they are like listening then the rooms listening to side trance at like volume 12 <laughs> and parting so it was just a really funny building great building to make music in basically uh-huh, uh-huh. koi complain karne wala nahi no no residents no families there was nothing. like civilian life you usko you can put it there yeah, yeah there was nothing so basically yeah. it didn't matter fuck that's crazy and then basically in that terrace we threw a few parties basically because we decided itni sahi jagah hai party phankte thode and basically we it started very simple it started with a little fundraiser for karan karan had this project he was working with another guy then called basic shit hmm. uh and because he's a bassist no basic uh. shit is literally more to do with feces because they were they were making they were trying to make india's first like eco friendly urinals and commodes or something like that uh and they were getting like refunded by sulab <laughs> i was like yeah <laughs> So, government organization sulab so sulab is not a government organization What? it's so sulab is owned by this mega rich dude so all these sulabs you see is actually this dude's vision which is like really? i will open these public baths i thought i always thought ki sulab and shochale are in are compatible with the government sulab is some kind of a word that goes before such a shochale yeah so nahi nahi idhar se aa idhar se aa oh nice sulab uh-huh. <laughs> thought it's like a fucking chicken <laughs> sulab sulab was just a dude's name he is just a rich guy who's like got the contract from the government and just made everyone so what is really funny is because sulab basically found these guys who yeah. he sensed as competition because they're like ye to kuch aur hi kar rahe hain oh, <laughs> so he kind of like hired them and started giving them funding but i felt like he also purposely kept them entrapped in this space to keep coming up with ideas without executing any ideas um because they had some good ideas like a simple idea they had was turning the 25 20 liter water bottle into a urinal and start using that basically recycling the 20 liter bottle which right. is being used and starting to make uh public uh, bathrooms out of that stuff like that which obviously doesn't look great uh, mm-hmm. but you know it's a, it's a young creative college idea right it's the mm-hmm. kind of thing so these guys are doing that at that point so one day we like how peter got a with a big band i mean we were literally like nothing right but you you always think you've reached some point as a young mm-hmm. arrogant schmuck Uh, so we didn't have fun days at banking <laughs> so like basic shit ke liye so we had a little fun days and, and like, whatever 50 60 people came but it felt good you know we right. played some music there was people gave some money like what a 50 60 rupees de rahe the like kya kit anyway well i think 200 2000 3000 rupees humne collect kiye hain de diye basic shit ko hello ek urinal bhi nahi banega but it was fun so then we decided okay let's do something else because it's 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 a nice idea of throwing some sort of event that's fun Hmm. which you don't then we did something for independence day 
so you know we would have a flag hoisting mm. and like a gig with us we play some shows like drink so we make a punch basically we take one of those 20 liter bottles which would later become a bathroom uh and fill it with like i would be standing there make filling it with all the cheapest jungle bowls. juice type ka hota hai jo ha huh? jungle juice hota hai jo uh the kya hota hai black currant juice ya orange juice ka the vodka dude it's just it's it's, a, it's like just some horribly like strong alcoholic orangey drink yeah 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 hai na and people get wrecked because it was so strong and then somehow uh, i think at some point we decided uh you know remember super fuzz those guys have you heard of them super fast super yeah. fuzz was this band which i think was popular super i've heard of fuzz the super fuzz no no in the okay basically super fuzz used to be this band which i think was famous in the early 2000s this india guy called man. india indian yeah. delhi band with, <laughs> with this guy called sanchal uh I guess it's a little before your time. Was well, my before my time too. I didn't really ah. listen to them. Um but anyway, they wanted to start performing again. They played some really nice music like grunge rock. Uh so they wanted to play again and it was like, "Oh, it's a reunion." So, you know, there's that Delhi rock scene which is a very close knit. We weren't part of that either. Mm. But we knew one guy from that scene. Uh and he's like, "Hey, this is cool. You guys are also bands. So let's all do something <laughs> together." Like, "Theek hai." So we organized this uh this sort of concert series uh, of four or five bands would play this night uh, and we told people just come you know just it's free no of, competition just no just no it's showcase. just a, it's just a it's just a gig mm-hmm. uh, there'll be four or five bands will play they'll perform inside our apartment and you'll basically agar ghar hai na yahan pe window the do and you could stand outside on the terrace and watch inside samajh gaya completely terrible system uh, because the sound is fucking god awful but yeah. people enjoyed being there right yeah uh, so it's we would, a new thing happening in the in the Bore, boredom of Delhi's nightlife. Huh. Yeah, and it was completely uh, unhinged. Like you could do anything. Uh, so basically, yeah, we did that concert. We made this really funny flyer uh, where I think it was a very early kind of meme sort of flyer where we used a concert uh, movie. Yeah, Mohabbate thi. You know that scene where his like girl Udhav Udhav Kapoor. What was his name? What was his Udhav Chopra? क्या हो रहा है and we know the police you know we lived there for 2 3 years now yeah, so you they were banned anyway you had they know us uh-huh. like we're friendly with them so uh-huh. you know like literally uh, they come up says they like what the hell is going on here so they like yeah we need to stop this shit more and i think they had a valid reason there were too many people it was unsafe so like yeah. it's you know you don't want to be in a situation with the fucking uh, building collapses ha yeah. legit hai bhai no But... totally legit so i mean also those can, we're not really dog stars so we are बातें कर हाँ भाई आ, सर आप तो सही बात बोल रहे हो निकालना पड़ेगा लोग ऑल्सो वेरी प्रैक्टिकल म्यूजिक लाइक हाँ चलो निक, निकालते हैं सबको निकालते हैं सो so, uh, कार्तिक को एक ले गया ठुल्ला वन ऑफ द गाइज इन माई बैंड आई मैं आते हेट मतलब लाठी प्यार से दो तीन बार उसको उसको पकड़ के बोले तू था नहीं आ जा चल सो आई नो ही डिसअपेयर मीन टाइम आई वॉज टू देर एंड once be most people left it was still like i don't know 40 50 people left still, still just, chilling still just, after just, just chilling yeah, and we like chalo phir se bajate hain so we just continued uh, and we time karthik came back but after that we basically stopped uh, doing that and then it just became a weird place of making stuff uh, where uh, there was some i don't know i'm just talking on uh-huh, and on. Queen, i don't queen. know that's what you want but uh, There were all these ambitious plans, you know. I I think you remember that place when Social was opening in Horsecast Village. Ha uh, ha. For the first dubara, time. Dubara, ab to dubara khula hai. Ina, Achha, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I haven't been there for years. But when Social was opening, there was also the top floor of Social was called Chhat. All right. They had something called Social Chhat. Okay. Uh, and they were launching it. So somehow we sold uh, a bandmate of mine. 
he worked at a bad ad agency and he's uh, he basically he got some contract to do four awesome shows 